joining me on a very slow um, and kind of down day for me. Um, last week I had two very long vlogs that went up and I am so thankful to all of you who watched and commented. I had a lot of interaction on those vlogs, which was super exciting. I was just so excited about all of the artwork going into the shop. I am cuddled up under a blanket. I've got my sketchbook and the iPad. My knitting is nearby, although I haven't quite touched it yet. Um, I did some knitting last night. I'm working on a pair of socks for Will. Um, and yeah, I thought that I would have you guys join me on this kind of slow, cozy day. Something else that I wanted to show you is I have been working on some graphics for my YouTube channel and actually one of the plans today is to create a PNG for some overlays um, to go throughout my vlogs. Hopefully I'll be able to even use those um, in this vlog. So um, that's the plan. And then um, I did order some new prints. I also ordered, I'm so excited. I thought about not saying anything and leaving it a surprise, but I'm way too excited. So I've actually ordered some stickers. So those of you that um, do journaling, planners, um, like to decorate your computers, your laptops, your phones with stickers, I will have those in the shop of my artwork, um, of my little animal characters that I've been coming out with. Um, I have some, I, I ordered one of one of my plants, one of um, a food painting that I will have going into the shop very soon, so I'm really excited. I think those will take about two weeks to be produced, um, so yeah, eagerly, eagerly waiting for those. I also got some really happy mail. You guys know from the art that I've been creating that I really, really like these vintage fairy tale little animals and critters or um, just vintage illustration. I love Victorian um, inking and um, just all of those vintage drawings and so I was browsing Etsy and I came across this shop it's called rarities books and bindery I found these little prints I don't know that they're prints I believe they're actually pages from a vintage book um, but they were right up my alley they just came today. I'm so excited. I'm going to share them with you guys and you will be able to see very quickly why I bought them. Okay, and here they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. How sweet are these? This is definitely Rory. I think this one's going to go in my kitchen. And this one I want in our bedroom. I love this one. Oh, look at this. Another little wild girl playing. Rory is going to love these. I think these are all girls. Oh, nope. So Will can have some too. Oh, here we're getting into some boys. Oh my goodness, you guys. And what a value too. This was a vintage item. I don't know if it was cut from a, it, it kind of looks like these were just maybe a package of prints you could get. And then on the back of each one has a little quote. It doesn't really go with this picture, so I'm wondering if it was like this. Okay, yes, I'm seeing now that it was cut from a book, which is kind of sad, but um, at the same time, now I have these, so can I really be that upset about it? So anyway, these are so sweet. I'm going to have to get some frames and measure them to be sure that they fit those frames. I don't know who the artist is. We just see an MB or NB maybe. Anyway, so that was that's really, really exciting and nice to have these little freebies to go with it. So I'm going to put that back in its sleeve until I can get some frames and let the kids kind of pick and see if they have any that they want. 
I would have mentioned in my last vlog that I was working my way towards using this sketchbook that Adam got me several months ago and I have to say I've gotten into it um, I've clipped back some of the pages that I had used and had forgotten that I used them but they're not relevant to what I'm working on now um, and I have to say I am really really loving working in this sketchbook it's so nice that it's bound and I'm able to kind of just I just get able to keep it like it's not gonna break apart like my last one so um, yeah I'm just working towards some sketches for future pieces for the shop um, we've got a Christmas one this one is kind of like a harvest ram but I really think he could work any time of year um, and the plan today was to work on a couple animals I really have a hard time drawing, which are cats and bunnies. Which is so funny because bunnies look so easy to draw, but for me, I don't know. I just keep struggling. You would think a bunny would be easier to draw than like a ram, but... And cats, like all my cats always end up looking... Actually, you can kind of see the outline of one I was trying to draw earlier today. Like they always end up looking kind of scary, like feral, wild cats, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but not really what I'm going for. So um, I don't know, I might take a break, maybe do a couple more birds. Um, Cause I don't know that I really want to transfer anything into Procreate today. I kind of just want to sit here and take it easy. So, um, but I will go ahead and show you guys, speaking of Procreate, some projects that I've been working on. So some of you may have noticed that my profile picture changed. Um, and uh, I actually, um, in my YouTube channel, and I actually ended up taking my original profile picture that I've had for a couple years now and um, sketching over it to kind of give it a hand-drawn watercolor look and that was really fun it was kind of a low-key um, project because like I said I had the image to reference and to trace over And then once I finished my profile picture, I knew that I wanted to redo my YouTube banner. And um, I ended up importing several of my little animal characters and um, just adjusting them over and over until they were organized the way that I wanted and kind of showed up halfway decent um, on all, like on your mobile, your desktop, and your TV. So. The final image actually is only able to be seen on your TV, but um, the desktop shows our, my little hedgehog and um, the owl, the barred owl librarian and a bit of the umbrella, so I thought it still ended up looking really good and worked really well with the um, profile picture because I added that speckling of paint behind it. So I'm pretty happy with how those turned out and I have, of course, I of course had to add the ball of yarn because it's still a very knitting centered business. Um, my aesthetic and my, my target audience is still very much um, knitters and crafters, crocheters. So um, yeah, I wanted to make sure that that was still front and center beside my logo. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it turned out okay. Another project that I have been working on recently and actually finished and have ordered prints of is um, kind of a little tribute to our favorite local restaurant. We go and eat at this Mexican restaurant pretty much every week. Um, it is just our favorite. It has the best um, vegetarian baked potato fajita, which is what I have been obsessed with as of late. And yeah, um, last time we were there, I just snapped a photo of the front of the restaurant. It has this really beautiful um, brick exterior and kind of a grungy looking um, fabric 
over the uh, grungy looking fabric over the awning and I just had this image of these little critters getting takeout or going in to eat um, on a rainy day like there's just really there was really nothing cozier in my mind than being in this restaurant when it's kind of gloomy out and I think the reason for that is because one of my favorite memories of eating here it was actually just before everything um, properly shut down for COVID. Um, it would have been last March and we knew things were shutting down and even though it was probably it was irresponsible, we really wanted to go and support this restaurant um, and dine in one more time. And it was an amazing experience because it, we don't really go out at night but we took the kids and we went and we ate there and it was so cozy it was dark outside and warm inside and and, and uh, just warm light and it you know it was delicious of course and another wonderful thing about that night was we weren't the only ones with the idea like there was a line outside of people waiting to go in and support this restaurant and it was just an amazing it was just an amazing experience it was an amazing memory the kids had such a good time of course no one got sick um, we were you know responsible hand washing we were social distanced but you know it was it was just a really great memory with them and now that things are opening back up again I'm excited to to do another evening um, eating out at our favorite place It's a little bit later in the day. I ran to the store really quick because I've been kind of trying to reorganize my studio. I feel like it looks really, sorry. I feel like it looks just really like it's in a garage. It's not in a garage, it's in a renovated garage, but still. Um, I just want some greenery in there, but of course you can't have any greenery because there's no windows. So um, I picked up these fake plants. And I feel like they look okay with the exception of the fact that they're super dull. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some furniture polish on these leaves. Um, and then get them to shine and put them in the shop. And then I also picked up a container, just a simple container to put my stickers in when they come in. So that they can be right on top. And then also I picked up a big basket. There we go. Um, to put in order, it will eliminate the need for me to use plastic bags um, from the store that we have left over um, to take them to the post office. I'm hoping I can just grab the box, go ask the ladies at the post office to let me just dump them in one of their containers. And that's just one less piece of trash, I guess. So um, I'm going to do that really quick. Still not feeling great, so I also picked up a frozen pizza for the kids and Adam tonight. Um, and that way I can just chill for the rest of the night. Um, so I'm going to go out to the studio for probably 30 minutes, get those orders shipped, move things around a little bit, and be done for the day. Come back out here and relax.
So today I decided to go ahead and look at some Victorian dresses because I really like drawing um, these little critters in kind of like old fashioned clothes and I realized I don't really know much about old fashioned clothes. I know I like them but as far as um, what the dresses look like and um, all the layers and the ruffles. I just haven't studied it much so that's what I'm kind of doing in my sketchbook today. Um, I found a couple dresses when I searched for um, traditional Victorian dresses. Um, these two came up so I just tried my hand at drawing them. They will look much different on a mouse or a hedgehog but I figure so long as I have this to reference um, I will adjust the shape as needed. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, the kids just finished up uh, having a snack and doing a little bit of a craft. They like the like rainbow scratch board. So that's what they were doing. And now they're going to play some Nintendo. So um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe, maybe try to sketch a bunny. I really want to know how to sketch them. I'm not very good at it. So maybe I'll try that. I don't know. <laughs> like you'd think they'd be easy to draw, but I struggle. turning out I don't I don't know why I can't draw one of God's simplest creatures I just don't understand hmm.
job, bro.